Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The, today I would like to make um, some exercise for interpretation. And I will use my ARP score, my electronic ARP score, the Yamaha, and my alto recorder. And uh, the idea of, of, in this exercise is that interpretation is a way of explaining a piece, as it's written, as it's done, have been done. Um, so for, um, I wrote a piece very easy with just one note in four different uh, rhythmical pattern, but there are exactly the same note. Same note has name, at length, a number of notes. I don't I don't know how many E is written in this piece, but there are the same the first, second, third, and fourth. So what is the difference? The difference is that the first is four fourth, the second is four fourth, but starting one note before the beat. In Italian we say in levare, we say and uh, the third is in 6-8, and the fourth is in 6-8, but starting one note before the beat. So the question is, how with an harp chord? An harp chord cannot, you cannot play stark, strong, or uh, piano or forte. This is, I'm push. I'm uh, putting, uh, playing forte, and this I'm playing piano. It's exactly the same. I make this note very stark and very delicate. Exactly the same. So how can we make an interpretation? And why I'm choosing an harp score? Because the recorder is the same. You cannot play in, in a recorder forte and piano. You can make... It's impossible because they change the tune, they change the quality of sound. So with recorder you cannot play piano and forte. And with harp score too, you have to find another way for making interpretation. And the way is to change the length of the note, not the rhythm. These are not all the same. Okay. And these are not all the same, but uh, length, no staccato. Okay. Uh, using note of different length, but not different read, I can make the interpretation. For example, exercise number one, if I have to ent play this exercise, this piece, lovely piece, for this famous composer, Aldo Bova, uh, with an harp score, I will play. I'm sorry, <laughs> I am not counting, I will play again. No, it's what, uh, incorrect. Okay, this is my interpretation of the first piece. And this is my interpretation of the second one. The same note, exactly the same. Just uh, put in a different context, a rhythmical context. Or mm, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a different way of, uh, of writing.
Did you recognize the difference? And now number three, 68. One, two, three, one, two, three. start again. One, two, three. Number four. One, two, three, one, two. Now I'm play a piece number five. Five, six, seven, eight is the same piece of music with the same different pattern as before, but this is a melody. If I play this melody, all piece, all not staccato. an interpretation there is the same following the pattern but really this note was exactly the same or the same not staccato interpretation. So I will try to play this music explaining how it's written. So that is explaining how, how it is. four a different change of rhythm in six eight one two three one two three Sixty-eight with a first note in Levare. One, two, three, one, two. It's 
not a good music. This is the que not the question in this moment. But now I will play all this music with alto recorder, starting from the beginning, without explanation, because now we know what it is. Number one. One, two. Sorry, <laughs> that is a, a, a joke, a mistake. Again, one, two. the number the number two one no I'm sorry it's not easy one Number three. One, two, three, one, two, Six, one, two, three. Number seven. One, two, three, one, two, three. I'm sorry. One, two, three, one. Bye-bye.